This is Twit. So Proton, my kind of favorite little tech company, obviously has a password manager, really an identity manager called Proton Pass that does 2FA codes if you wanted to, but I've always taken the stance that you want to do that within a separate app. And now they have a standalone authenticator app. So I took wow. the time to see if I could switch over to fully because I had been using a combination of um, Google Authenticator and Microsoft Authenticator. And Google Authenticator, the big draw for me was that it would sync these codes or these accounts and codes between all the machines through the cloud, right? And the little niggling problem there was that it wasn't end end encrypted. So there was a possibility, I suppose there is a possibility that something could happen to that, but you know, whatever they're going to supposedly going to fix that. So protons does exactly the same thing, except it is end to end uh, encrypted. Plus it's proton, not Google. So great. So I did switch over everything that I used. Um, Google authenticator that's seamless. Google supports export easy. Uh, Microsoft does not. <laughs> so mm. if you're using Microsoft authenticator, you can't actually export those codes and um, you can't import anything. And well, I think there is actually a way to do like a, like a column or what do you call it, a comma a delimited file or something like that. But anyway, you cannot import it from that into proton. So if you are going to switch, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of work there. And based on what I've seen so far, you're going to want to actually stick with the Microsoft authenticator app for Microsoft accounts, because it has that really nice experience. You know, you sign in, you just put in your, your, your username, your email, uh, address hit enter. It asks you to prompt, you know, gives you a number or sends you a number, or you get a number and send it back, whatever it is, but you don't have to ever type in your password. And it's just kind of a nice interface and all the other, the third party authenticators don't really do that with a Microsoft account. So most people probably have like one or two, right? Like you can have one for work, one for home, maybe at most. So it's not a big deal. But if you are using all of your Microsoft or all of your accounts uh, doing 2FA through Microsoft Authenticator, that's a weekend project. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> but, um, I really, but I, like I said, I really like, I, I love Proton. I, I actually really like the interface of this app. I like just like, even like the fonts they chose are really nice. It's got a, it's got a nice vibe to it. So, um, switching from Google was really seamless and, um, it's no big deal keeping, um, you know, Microsoft authenticator around. I was doing it anyway. So are you keeping it around? Cause it's just hard to migrate off of. Yeah. If, if Proton did what Microsoft does, Mm -hmm. I would just use Proton 100%, right? Like, I, yeah. I don't know that they can't. I'm not really sure. I mean, I it, it, I don't know. You know, it's it's open source, right? So I don't, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what the secret sauce Microsoft uses here. I mean, it's fair to say it's it's possible. I, I just did this day. Like, you are trying to authenticate against your Google account, and you get different choices. It's like, mm -hmm. choose passkey, and there's no passkey on this device, or whatever it is. And you're like, okay, well, or it, for some reason, it doesn't work with the one it wants you to do with the phone, and it's like your phone doesn't, whatever it is. So you get different choices, and one of them is with an app, and if you have like a the Google app on your iPhone, or like Gmail, or whatever, you can actually just launch the app, and when you do, a UI comes up, and it says, is this you? And you're like, yep. And usually that's all there is to it, but today, for maybe the first time, it actually gave me a choice of three numbers, like Microsoft does. Wow. And I was like, oh, that's, there you go. <laughs> like, that's a, that's not bad. You know, it's a good system. Um, so yeah, I, the, the Microsoft thing, the, the thing that bugs me, the reason I wouldn't use that full time is just a, the sync thing. I know you can back up, but it doesn't do sync. And, uh, and now that I know you can't <laughs> like, like export it normally, it's like, guys, like, I mean, I don't know. You want to have a, ba you know, a backdoor if you need it, um, uh, yeah. to get out. And, and they have for, backdoor mechanisms, but they're a pain in the butt, right? Yeah. Like, yes, that's what you I mean. could do like, a recovery. Mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 I've done the yeah. trial now of, okay, I dropped my phone in the ocean. I need to set up a new phone without migrating. <laughs> How bad yeah. is this? And it's bad. Yep. Yeah. I, I, it's, I feel like it was architected almost for a different world and they yeah. kind of made it, you know, work and it works. It works. Okay. It works fine. Uh, like in use, it's, honestly, it's fine. Um, and I'm right on the edge now, especially setting up these machines of going, do I just have to go down the pass key wave now? Yes. Well, that, that, right. So this is the problem. So hopefully you're using Bitwarden, right? I'm not really yes. sure like how that works, but hopefully what it can do is prompt you and say, Hey, look, you have this list of accounts and here's the 13 accounts that could have pass keys, but don't, you might want to look at that. Or here are the two or three or whatever it is that have some 2FA that's better than a text message. And you're not using that. Maybe you should do that. Like that, that kind of proactive help from like a, you know, a password manager can be really useful. Yeah, um, I still, I mean, I, I would happily put all my pass keys in Bitwarden, but I still have other things popping up at me saying, going to do that pass key for you. 
Yes. The, the, God, the, there's, there are so many problems with passkeys. I mean, passkeys are great. Um, mm -hmm. Portability is one of them, but it's not just that. It's There's a user experience problem, and and it's actually tied to the thing I just said. The uh, I don't remember what device. So I open a laptop I've not used in a month because I've been away. And it's like, oh, you get to sign into your Google account again. You're like, great. I have a Google passkey on this computer. I have a Google passkey in my password manager. So mm -hmm. obviously, when I choose... Yep, reauthenticate. It's going to give me one of those things. And it's like, do you want to use a passkey? You're like, you bet I do, baby. And then it comes up. It's like, all right, take a picture of this with your iPhone. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> and what? then, so I'm like, okay. I mean, I can do that. So I'm like, okay. It's made a choice about where it's going to get the passkey. Like, just do it. <laughs> like, I have, it's on here. I It's protected with Windows Hello. Like, this should be fine. And right now, it's it's it just varies. It Even when there's a company like Google that honestly does a pretty good job with this, Usually, it will do that. Some it, it's like it's doing different types each time, and maybe that's good security. I don't know, but um, it more it happened to it's happened a bunch this year. Right? It's like your phone. You're like, okay, and you like take a picture of the QR code. It's like, nope, there's no passkey. You're like, come on, guys. Like, guys, you were supposed to make my life easier. What are you doing? I don't know. So we'll what that. are you? What were you, you were using Microsoft Authenticator before this? Or? So I was using a combination of Google and Microsoft, and Microsoft yeah. specifically for the Microsoft accounts because it's great for that, and Google for everything else because it syncs. But now nice. Proton does that as well, but it does it with an encry encryption, and you know it's Proton. Yeah, so. I use two FAS, which they don't. I notice put in this chart because oh, okay. it checks all the same boxes. Oh, does it? Well, <laughs> yeah. but that might, okay. But I mean, yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm not sure like how you make that list, right? If, I mean, I, maybe it's because it's, these are the most popular, you know, in fact, yeah. often when you are suggested at one time authenticator, uh, yeah. they say just, they just say Google authenticator or Microsoft authenticator. Mm -hmm. They don't even mention the other ones. I used Authy for a long time, mm -hmm. but uh, I like too fast. Google Actually, for, Google's great. It's just, it, yeah. you know, lately I've been, fine. the only thing I didn't like about Google was every time I set up a new phone, it was kind of a pain. Mm. I think now Google will export, right? And no, it just syncs. You just sign it will in. sync. It's, okay, it's just it didn't there. used so, to, and that so yeah. That, if you're if you're using the same account, it's it's just there. Oh, that's, that's what I love. That's what I love about it's it. It's saved to the account. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now I just store everything in Bitwarden. I give I gave up on it. Yeah. Two two different. Yeah. Things. So and by the way, if you do switch to Proton Authenticator, anybody from any uh, other Authenticator app, um, it will prompt you. Or Google at the end when you export says, "Hey." Do you want us to delete all this data? Um, wow. I didn't do that at the time because I wanted to make sure it worked. But now it's like, yeah, <laughs> you wow. know, like you should yeah. do that too. Just like you should get rid of your passwords and whatever password manager you were using if you switch to a new one. It's a tough step, but it's, uh, you know, it's one of those things. You don't want this stuff just floating around out there. Um, yeah, when I migrated out of um, LastPass onto Bitwarden, there's a moment where I have an exchange file of all of my passwords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that in plain text. Yeah. yeah it was a scary right. moment. Yeah, Couldn't that's wait to delete moment. that one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Don't leave that in your download folder, yep. folks. It's <laughs> of the giant the CSV. <laughs> that's one of the, I mean, that's right. I mean, when I exported the Google thing, it was like, do you want to export a file version? I'm like, sure. Because I'm like, I can put this in like a private vault or whatever it's called right. on uh, OneDrive. But then it's sitting there in my, like you said, you did the download folder in your phone. You're like, Oof, is there a more in insecure place on earth than the download folder on my phone? <laughs> Let me think. Uh, it's tough. You don't want to leave it there. No. Actually, that's one. Our sponsor is uh, Trellica. That's one of the things it does. Is says, uh, look for, let me yeah. just look if there's anything in the clear in your download folder. Mm -hmm. Oh, a plain oh, text file of all of your passwords. Yeah, yeah. Or, or all yeah. of your uh, the codes or whatever it is. Yeah. A much better show <laughs> and longer too. Called Windows Weekly. The whole link to the show is right below me, and of course we stream live right here every Wednesday. You can watch us do our thing or download it here or in your favorite podcast player uh, best thing to do what do they say uh like and subscribe thanks for watching